Leo, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It's a message for Leo, sun, moon, and rising sign Leo energy. So even if you don't have a Leo birth date and this message has popped up in your feet, you're drawing it into, you're calling it into you, it's something that you need to hear. There could be Leo placements in your chart that are being triggered right now. So it arrives at just the right time and this is where your message begins. Wow, Taurus energy. This is very certain and sure energy. Learn from the past. So it's almost like, so it's almost like I don't want to repeat the same process. I don't want to make the same mistakes. It's almost like, Leo, this is the thing. You're a fire sign. You are a fixed fire sign. So you're not, you're certainly not as impulsive as Aries. And you're sure not as lackadaisical. Or, oh, let's try it as Sagittarius. So there is a, a level of decorum. It usually comes from honor and integrity um, that, that kind of uh, guides your way forward and slows it down a little bit. But you're still future focused. Fire is always future focused. That's what fire is. Like look into the future. Which could lead to a lot of anxiety, to be honest with you, because if you're always looking to the future, you're not really appreciating the now. Learn from the past is you've got to slow yourself down enough to realize that you could be making the same mistake again simply because you're doing what you always do, which is rush into the future, rush at a circumstance without really thinking up. Uh, have I been there before? And if you're starting to get those little tinglings in you, slow it down enough to listen to them because you're being called to listen to them. This doesn't mean that you're not headed in the right direction. It just could mean that, you know, your momentum is a little bit off or that you are about to barrel into it and do the same thing again. And, you know, we can't keep repeating the same process over and over again. It's like, it's like learn from what you've been through, learn from where you've been, learn from where you've come and be able to move more competently, confidently and move more competently into the future because confidence and Leo's, you have, you have a plethora of confidence, but you don't always have your competence because you don't always wait long enough to develop it. So there is a sense of, okay, I'm moving forward in confidence, but do I have my confidence, my competence really down? And so there's a sense of, you just so it, it doesn't mean you're not moving forward. Um, it means that you're making sure that there's integrity in every step and that there's intellect in every step and that it's registering where, oh, is this really going to get me toward what, what I actually want? Is this actually what I want or does it just look like it and I'm letting it bait me? Things like that. So let's let's get into this. Remember that as I divide the deck, Leo, there are going to be cards that fall out and those cards are going to stay where they lay because that's part of the message. If you're looking for a personal reading, I do do those. Please just go to my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. And you can book and schedule your personal reading right there. You will have your message within 24 hours of whatever day you booked. Sooner, if I can, my clients will tell you I get those readings to people as quickly as possible. Because I know that you want your answers. Um, if you're just new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Michelle. Um, thank you so much for giving my videos a try. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and then ring that notification bell so that you know when I go live because I do uh, private, I, I, mean, I do public tarot card readings here on YouTube. And if you'd like to participate in those, then you certainly can. Okay. You're going to hear a ringing because I'm going to use this sound bowl or song bowl to cleanse the energy.
Leo. Let's give it one more shuffle to see what else wants to come out. What do we want to ask? What do we want to ask? What should they learn from the past? What went on? And how do we make the future? How do we make our choices different moving forward? What would you like to bring our attention to? Okay. Be fearless and bold. Then this is odd for you, but you weren't. And it's recent. So this is a sense of you hesitated. Now, maybe that's a good thing. Right? We talked about that Aries sort of impulsivity, jumping in, right? Head, for, head first is what Aries, Aries are head, right? Like head first. But there's just this sense of maybe you learn from the past. You're like, ah, oh, that, 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 that. let me take a second with this. Let me just take a second. It doesn't mean you're not going to do it. It just simply means that you want to do it right and you want to aim in the right direction. You just, you don't want to be impulsive with this. So whatever it was, you kind of held yourself back very recent, probably last week, a couple of weeks, like it, like very recent. And it's got to do with this situation. A rebirth is assured. You're awakening to something. You're aware of something. There's an awareness here. There's something stirring that maybe hasn't been stirring in a while. There's something um, uh, drawing you out, making you want to come alive again, right? But you just don't, because of what's happened in the past, you don't want to rush into something. None of that sounds like bad for me right now. Um not yet. There could be a little insecurity here because Aries energy does represent, you know, your personal, your sense of self. And, and ultimately it could be like, oh, you're a little bit off, but that's okay. You can acknowledge that I'm a little bit off here, right? I, 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 I know I care. My attention is there, but I'm a little bit off here and that's okay. Like I have to acknowledge the weakness in me as well, right? I have to acknowledge the insecurity in me as well. And I have to ask myself, why, why am I feeling these things? Write them down. See, maybe you can figure it out. Hold on. Now moving on, we have time to heal. This is in reverse. So I think you felt like a red flag go up to say, there's something here that is still very toxic that I'm dealing with. And I don't want to shove my whole self in or I'm dealing with somebody that I know isn't going to put in as much as I'm going to put in. And it's time to let go of this situation. Time to let go of a situation that is gnawing at your heart. Time to let go of feeling like I have to give my all into everything. Or time even just to let go of the feeling that if, I, if I'm not all in, it's nothing. And that's not necessarily true. Um, it, there's a sense of, do I, do I always have to go on? I'm ready to move forward now with a, a firmer sense of who I am. I'm, I'm, I'm learning to go slower. Time to heal. You know, there's things ahead that haven't healed. It doesn't mean you have to not keep moving forward. This implies that you're going to move forward, but you have to move forward addressing like there's like there's like this this uh there's like this uh I keep saying this elephant in the room there's just this sense of I said this to Cancerians too something has to be addressed because it's sitting on your heart and I feel you're going to tackle this a lot more directly than Cancerians did because you just move more directly um but you have to you have to get this off your chest you've learned from the past that you're not going to go anywhere and it's not going to be anything good if you don't. So let's get into the seven day play by play. I want the specifics. I want to give them to you. What then God is happening here? Why are Leo's hesitant? Should they be? And how do they move forward? What is this all about? How does this end up? Let's do the seventh day. How does this end up? Where do we end up here? Uh, what's the conclusion? What's the conclusion? Okay. Let's start with day one. Just flat out, God, can you tell us step one? What did we learn from the past? We had to tie up loose ends. There's a reflectiveness here, a sense of hurt, a sense of suffering, a sense of um, night of wands. I wanted, I, you, it's like you wanted to reflect 
before you took action. You also wanted to make sure that the actions that you were taking were based on the humbling, the humble pie that you had to eat from the past, right? There's also, you were dealing with a situation, my friends, where there was loose ends that you still had to tie up. You couldn't move forward until you cleaned up the past. That's, that's what it's saying. And it's, it's almost like everybody always tells you, don't ever go back. Well, you got to go back if you haven't built the bridge strong. There was something here that wasn't strong. There was something here that still called your attention. So trust it. Sometimes you absolutely have to go back in order to fix shit so that you can move forward. And I think that that's what we're feeling right now. Okay. Next. Okay. So who is this involved with? This is day two. Who's involved here? What's involved here? Um, a situation that grew stagnant, a situation that you put a lot of work into, um, and now you're finally getting credit for it. A situation where maybe there's now fulfillment or there's now movement. Uh, um, um, you're getting your just desserts. You're getting uh, credit where credit is due, where it, it it you didn't before. You kind of just something wasn't working. You weren't seeing anything grow. You weren't seeing anything develop. It feels like you've become either independent from needing that, or you're finally getting you're finally getting the the. You're finally getting the credit where the credit is due. What about three? Mm. Um, something was stealing your power. No matter how hard you manifested, there seemed to be it's undermining or you took a really bad situation where you were completely wrecked or defeated and you, through your actions, your talents, your gifts, your, 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 your experience, actually put it to use for you. You tackled in a magical way a, a, a situation that was really, um, maybe, it, maybe it seemed hopeless. Um, this seems to be a tack. Clarify what was going on with the Five of Swords. What was Leo dealing with? Something was ruined. Something was defeat. It's usually defeat is the card, the way the card is described. Yeah, five of cups, it really disappointed you. It's something that you couldn't get out of your head because it made you sad. You know, it it it, it was something that you lost at, and but it wasn't your it wasn't egotistical that you couldn't let it go. It's almost like you just you suddenly understood the way that you should have behaved or all the ways that you could have fixed something like that's what it is. And you needed to go back and do that. And that's taking the action to do that. Okay. What about four? Step four, process four. Now we have abundance and resources. Now we have resources that come in. Now we have a strong sense of um, you have the resources to deal with. This could be about a woman in your life. This could be about a maternal figure in your life. Or there was a sense of maybe trying to make up for the past and a maternal figure uh, wanting to do things different or wanting to heal past hurts. You don't want to treat somebody the way that your mother was treated. Like some, something, it could be something like that too. It could be something as deep as that. Or it could be as simply the resources are finally coming in because you made the decisions you made. Or you can now, the resources are coming in so you can amp up your efforts. Okay, what about day five? <laughs> What about day five? What about day five? Um, we have standing your ground and standing your ground, fighting for what you believe in. Um, not backing down, standing in your integrity. Amen. That's definitely Leo energy. What about day six? 
it's almost like coming out and saying, I care about this. I want this. This matters to me. That's beautiful. What about day six? I'm going to fight for this. What about day six? Now that you're dealing with a king of pentacles, suddenly you're running the show. Or you're dealing with boss people that really appreciate you and care about you and want to invest in you. Somebody that could really invest in you and your ships, your ships suddenly arrive. Um, your ships suddenly arrive with this person who wants to invest in you. You're out in the open. You're suddenly acknowledged. Public recognition, victory, and success your ships coming in. It could be somebody who's a big dog, big wig, somebody who has money, somebody who can invest in you, or just somebody who's really reliable and salt of the earth and, and dependable and has a lot of integrity themselves. So you're starting to attract a higher level of person. We're going to get into day seven, but I need to ask the moon. Happy birthday, Doug Denny. What's going on? Your hard work is paying off. I tell you, not quitting is your thing. And it's probably why everything for stuff is working out for you. So we have a new moon in Capricorn that is saying your hard work paid off. The sense of renewal of confidence in yourself and the decisions that you made to keep moving forward. Virgo energy, you may be dealing with Virgo energy, Taurus energy. This is, you are good enough for this. You can do this. You do deserve this. Finding the strength to move forward. In that certainty that I deserve it, like finding that strength to realize I do deserve this. That's why I'm going to not give up on it. And your dreams need a practical plan. Also realizing that I, this time around, this is Taurus energy, just like that uh, elephant energy. But I need to do it differently this time around. I need to be practical. I can't be hopeful. I can't be aspirational. I can't expect this to all be spiritual. I need to do the work. I need to be practical with this. I need to also vet the integrity of all the resources I'm dealing with. That that kind of sense. Like I'm not going into this blind again. What is this all about for Leo? What is it all what is this all about? What does it all come down to? Breathe. So it's like you're finding your center again. You're finding your confidence. You're finding yourself again. Let's get an angel message before we get into day seven. Angel message for Leo, please. Angel message for Leo, multifaceted. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you're asking about. So, you're understanding now that it's not simple, that it's it's complicated. And it's okay. The sense of, I understand it's complicated. I still want it. I still deserve it. I still believe in it, right? So I'm going to go into it not naive this time. I've learned from the past. I'm not naive. You've got experience. That's that elephant Taurus energy. I've got experience. I've been here before. I know not to expect too much. I know I know that this this is this is complicated and that's okay. Be gentle with yourself. Now this is the key. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. So a sense of not pushing it and putting it all on yourself either. And I think that you've learned that from wisdom too. That sense of it's not all about me. I also have to learn the integrity of what I'm working with, right? Or who I'm working with. And I can only go as far as they're ready to go. I can't, I can't push something into being what it isn't. And I've got to, I've got to go gentle with me. I'm going to hang back a little bit and see if when I, when I step forward, somebody else does too. Let's go to the extended and figure out the rest. I will see you guys there. The link is in the description box. I've pinned it to the top of the comment section. Or you can just find me over on my second channel, which is Born Without Boundaries Tarot on Vimeo. I'll see you there.